Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to find the elements in a set based on set operations. And we're given the universal set B, D, H, L, P, R, U, and the set X, which is B, H, P, U, and the set Y, which contains B, D, and H, and the set Z, which contains D, H, L, P, and R. Let's start by writing down our set that we're asked to find, which is Z union X complement parentheses complement intersect Y. Okay, so when you're doing set operations, you want to observe an order of operations, kind of like in arithmetic. Um, what you're going to do is start inside parentheses first, so grouping symbols or parentheses. And then you're going to do any complements of individual sets within those parentheses are going to take priority over unions and intersections and differences, which those that remain are going to be worked from left to right. So we have parentheses, then we have the little apostrophe, which is complements, and then we have unions, intersections, and differences, and we always work from left to right. In our problem, we have Z union X complement inside of parentheses. So I'm gonna write down uh, the actual set Z, which contains D, H, L, P, and R, and union with X, complement. So X is B, H, P, and U. We're going to want the complement of that, which means everything that's not in X but is in the universal set. Okay, and the rest I'm going to just leave in shorthand notation. And now we're going to go equals. Now I'm going to prioritize complements before union and intersection. So we have to find the complement of BHPU. So you come over here to your universal set and you're going to say, okay, I want everything that's not in BHPU. So not B, not H, not P, not U. So the complement of that set then is going to contain what remains, D, L, and R. So let's write that down. So we have D, H, L, P, R union with and then we have D, L, and R, complement, intersect, Y. All right, so now we're left with just the union inside the parentheses. Now union says put everything together into one big set, and actually DLR is already in DHLPR, so when you unite these two sets, you don't have to write the elements twice. We just want to know what elements are in there, and that's going to include D, H, L, P, and R. There were no extra ones added by the union with DLR. We still have a complement symbol on the outside of the parentheses. We don't need to write the parentheses anymore though because we've already performed the operation of union and we're done with that. So now I'm just gonna write intersect Y. Okay, so now we go to the next step. We're gonna find the complement of DHLPR. So we take out DHLP and R and all that's left are the B and the U. So the complement of that set is just B and U, and we want to intersect that with whatever Y is. Now's the time to write down what Y is, because we're gonna have to perform the intersection. So we have B, D, and H. So now intersection means that we want whatever's in common between the two sets. So the only element that appears in both of the sets is the set B. So our intersection results in the set containing only B. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a like. A thumbs up will help other students to find the video.